well, this is part of it. Everything's going along just fine until you get stuck. Well, we're back at it again today doing snow removal, snow remediation. Seems like we've had a lot of snow. I don't know if this is the fifth or sixth time we've plowed, but uh, it's definitely getting to the point where the snow storage is coming to uh, benefit in places that we uh, thought about snow storage and coming to a detriment in places that we have not. So this is the little road that comes down to the building site and the sawmill and you can kind of see the banks on either side and I just kind of plowed a narrow path down through here and um, I knew it was going to be a problem and last night when I was plowing it became one so that is kind of where I stopped it's pushing snow uphill there and the plow truck uh, ran out of oomph to, to do it and I didn't want to overstress that so kind of got in a situation where the plow truck is trapped back here because that's the only way out so uh, I was already kind of planning on it today but uh, gonna get the steer, skid steer going plow this road out make it a little wider um, and clean up around the sawmill there and I don't know, spend three, four, three hours at least out here doing some snow remediation and removal and clean up. We had freezing rain last night, so that was pleasant. Um, so now on top of the snow is this thick layer of ice, ice snow. Hell there. Um, that makes it fairly difficult for the deer and everything to get through the woods. But we will make it happen. Well, this is part of it. Everything's going along just fine until you get stuck. Then it's not fine. So, I've been digging out around it, trying to get it out. I don't want to call Eric to rescue me quite yet. Um, but, no come to that. 
I have chains for that skid steer, but they are buried back by the log uh, or the lumber bunks, and this one don't want to do that quite yet. So, yeah, keep trying a few more times. Uh, avoid calling my brother-in-law to rescue me. Well, the more I tried to unstuck that skid steer, the worse it got. Uh, something about that. You try to uh, move the skid steer with the bucket by pushing it down and then giving you leverage and then using the hydraulics of the bucket to move you one way. Well, when you're trying to go forward, it just kind of scoops all the material underneath your front tires. So I got out a couple times and tried to shovel all that stuff out and make some space. Uh, but really what I did is just kind of work it further and further back because I needed to, I, I was trying to get it pointed at least the right direction. But anyway, the the text of shame to my brother-in-law, Eric, to get the back row and, and get it out. So um, anyway, uh, definitely still a novice on that thing. It's heavy, it does a good job, but once it's stuck, it's stuck pretty good. Well, it's been several weeks uh, since I was out here plowing and and I got the skid steer stuck. Uh, not even sure how long ago that was, but uh, several weeks anyway. Since then, we've had quite a bit of rain, warmer temperatures, not a lot of snow. And it'll snow a little bit, slushy stuff, and then kind of melt off, but uh, not really warm enough to melt everything off. We're still in winter, but um, just kind of messy. Uh, living in Alaska, occasionally you'd have a warm spell where they wouldn't last nearly this long. Once it was winter, it kind of stayed winter. And you now, after being down here, you kind of appreciate uh, once winter is winter, stays winter, um, kind of things are easier in that sense. So. You know, deal with the slush and oh, maybe even mud, and it's, it's a lot slicker because uh, it melts down, and then rains on top of the snowpack, and then uh, everything kind of gets pretty dang slick. So this is where the spot where uh, I got stuck with the skid steer. Yeah, kind of see where I got stuck and got myself. Into a bit of a pickle back in there, couldn't get back out. Um, luckily, Eric was able to come over with the backhoe and he was able to pull me out uh, without any problem. I wasn't even here when he did it, so. Um, but uh, that's kind of a, how it looks right now. It's kind of a, it was raining earlier this morning, so it's just kind of a foggy, oh, temperatures in the mid 30s kind of day. Everything's damp and, I don't know, it's kind of misty cool out here, so. It's good to be back out on the property though, after not being out here for several weeks. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, remember to like and subscribe to our channel, Our Dream in the Woods. Uh, really appreciate that. It uh, helps the channel grow and, and uh, creates new opportunities for Beth and I in the future, so. Uh, have a great day. I appreciate you watching.